Today we're going to go over how to read with your child. Reading with your child is an important part of their education. It teaches them how to speak fluently, listen carefully, and eventually it will give them the ability to read by themselves. So we wanted to go over five tips to making reading with your child more effective. Step one, show them the cover. Show them the cover of the book and ask them questions about it. This is a great way to engage their interest and work their imagination. My daughter and I are gonna read a very special book together today. Hi. Hi. The story is called Humanity for President. It's written by a good friend of mine, Carla Sarabo, who started her career as a teacher at Mastery Kramer Hill. Adeline, when you look at the cover of this book, what, are you, what do you think it's gonna be about? Mm -hmm. Can you read the title for me? Well, it says humanity for president, so I think this this humanity named Hugh is be, being president. What do you think is going to happen in this story? Let's read the book and find out. There are three things you could do with your child while you are reading. Step two, test your child's interest in progress. Children can be easily distracted. To keep them focused, ask them questions such as, how do you think the characters are feeling? What do you think will happen next? This will help them keep interested while processing the text, like test their predictive skills. Step three, check newly acquired skills. Stories contain vocabulary they might not have previously had access to. Whenever a new word pops up, Make them guess the meaning by using picture clues or break down sentences that they don't understand and consistently ask simple questions. Step four, make it engaging. Children tend to be more attentive when a story comes to life. They need to differentiate between characters to follow the plot. So using separate voices and nuancing lines is a good trick. Humanity for President by Carla Sirabo. I'm Hugo Manity, and my nickname is Hugh. I'm big, fat, and squishy, a nice shade of blue. I'm a really sweet kid, and I'm fun, and I'm smart. I've got nothing but kindness inside my big heart. I always dress to the nines, and I have really great glasses. I've got an A plus in all of my classes. I'm a spectacular writer and a fluent reader. On weekends, I sing in the, I sing in plays at the theater. I'm a really good cook, plus I'm a vegetarian. And my teacher says I'm a great humanitarian. Huh, that's a tricky word. Adeline, what do you think this word humanitarian means? Well, I don't know yet, but we can read the book and find out. I think that's a great idea. Let's read the rest of the story and see if we could come back to this word and figure out what it means together. Sure. Although I'm so great, and I know that it's true, some days I really just wish I weren't blue. My color is blue, but I wish I were gray, and I can't help but think it's weird that I'm this way. For all of the manatees in every book, well, none of them look the way I look. Sometimes when I ask gray kids to play, they look at me funny and just swim away. I think I'm a fungi. I'm really not mean. Am I the only blue manatee they've ever seen? Hey, Adeline, how do you think Hugh is feeling right now? Sad and left out. Why do you think he feels that way? He thinks he doesn't fit in. What, what makes you, what words and what picture told you that? The words, the words is this whole sentence and the picture is that they are leaving him behind. They're leaving him behind? Mm -hmm. How did this sentence, am I the only blue manatee they've ever seen, tell you that he feels left out? Because, because the only blue manatee they've ever seen means that 
like he's the only one so i bet that feel makes him feel left out oh that's a very good that's a very good thought adeline sometimes i feel sad and i close my blue eyes and i wish i could live like all those gray guys i do think i'm great and i love my blue skin but I feel blue inside because I do not fit in. Adeline, I think you are right. I think he, he feels left out because he's blue and all his friends are gray. And, he, and his blue skin is actually like a sad color, so I bet his friends um, made fun of him because of that too. <gasps> You're right. When something feels blue, that also means that they kind of feel sad, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm, that's a very, very smart thought. And I thought, also thought that because, because like, maybe they didn't care if he was sad. So, like, they thought he was sad because he was blue. <gasps> maybe. At school, we are having a big class election. But in my heart, I'm afraid of rejection. Oh, what do you think the word rejection means, Adeline? Maybe it feels... Maybe it, maybe it means like embarrassed because he's the only blue blue manatee, and it also gives me a thought. What does election mean? Election. Election is when people vote, when people select the president or somebody important to help lead the school. But right now, he thinks that he can't go for the election because he's afraid of rejection. What does this picture tell you that rejection means? Nobody, nobody would vote for him for the president. Why do you think that? Because in the picture, I see that people is hitting him with tomatoes, and and I I bet I I bet that's because they wouldn't let him be um, president. <gasps> Maybe. That's not very nice, is it? Mm -mm. I do think I'd make a fantastic class president, but you know, I'm blue, so you can see why I'm hesitant. Hesitant means that he's nervous and he doesn't, think, uh, he, he doesn't know if he should do it or not. I swim to my blue mom and I tell her I'm sad. She picks up our blue phone and call, to call my blue dad. And my blue dad swims home, and they talk for a bit. They point to the blue chair and ask me to sit. Dad picks up the remote and turns on the Mana TV. I take off my glasses and say, oh, "How can this be? Oh, the big screen! Oh, the screen is the big C election." And standing there is a manatee with my same complexion. Complexion means the same skin color as him. So I think he sees somebody blue on TV, Adeline. Mm -hmm. He says, if you agree to vote for me, I'll take, I'll take care of every creature in the sea. No matter your species, your size, or your hue, if I'm your president, I'll take care of you. A blue guy in glasses, he's just like me. I touch the, my blue skin and I touch the TV. If he can be president, I can too. I guess you can do anything if you are blue. The next morning, my dad helped me put on a tie. I wanted to look like a president, like the president guy. How do I look? I said to my dad. He said I looked the most pre presidential I ever had. Hey, Adeline, how do you think he's feeling now? I think he's feeling like excited because maybe he's like going to a president room for people to vote for him. Yeah, I think he's getting ready, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think he's maybe getting uh, uh, courageous and he's gonna try to be brave? I don't know what courageous means, but... Courageous I... means to be brave. Do you think he's going to try to be brave? Mm -hmm. What makes you think that he was able to be brave? Because if, if that blue guy 
could be president and and other people wanted him to go to be president maybe they wanted him to be president too <gasps> i think you're right let's read but i looked in the mirror and i looked back at him i look just the same as i've always been that's right said dad you look at your reflection there's a manatee who will win an election. You're a singer, an actor, and a fantastic writer. Your wardrobe couldn't be any tighter. You've read more books than our local librarian. You care about fish so much you're a vegetarian. You won't win because of your hue. Hue, you will be president because you are you. The next day, it was time for my speech to the class. My blue manatee heart was beating so fast. I looked out at the crowd and the whole sea was spinning, but I reminded myself, Hugh, it's not about winning. You just have to show them how much you care. I put my chubby blue flippers together in prayer. <clears throat> If you're a pelican and you can't, you pelican can't read, I'll teach you all the tricks you might need. If you're like Tina Tuna, who needs a propeller to swim, I'll volunteer to be your partner in gym. If you're a big shark, if you're a big shark and you're supposed to be tough, but you don't play sports, it's okay. You're enough. If dancing in a ballet is your biggest shark dream, I'll sign up to be on your dance team. And if you're anything like my salmon friend Sid, who got cut up real bad by a soddy pop lid, a soddy pop lid, and you want to fight against the big sea pollution, trust me, I've got a peaceful solution. If you're a great school of fish, but you don't have supplies, I've got you covered. I know some guys. If you're a hermit crab and you lost your whole shell, I'll rebuild you your home and I'll paint it as well. And listen up, fish. I'm really not joking. If you're at the emergency room because you, your fin is broken, and you realize you're down to your last sand dollar, call up my shell phone and I'll give you and give me a holler. If you wear special things for your religion, being my friend is an easy decision. If you're a dolphin who swam from a different sea, I'll teach you my language and you can teach me. Because I used to think that someone like me wasn't good enough for, to run for presidency. But I am smart, important, and kind, just like you. And now I know that I'm great because I am blue. Remember my name. I'm Hugh the Manatee. I'm a blue manatee who cares for all of humanity. Hey, Adeline. What kind of friend do you think Hugh the Manatee is? A helpful and kind friend, I think. What kind of thing did he do that made you think that? He actually built a house which actually takes a long time for other people to live in there. Uh -huh. And also painted it. Uh -huh. And teach the dolphin his language and and um, teach a seagull how to read and all that stuff. So he did all of those things to help other people. Mm -hmm. So do you remember the word in the beginning of the story that we didn't know what it meant? Mm -hmm. Humanitarian. Now that you know what kind of friend Hugh is, what do you think humanitarian means? A helpful and a kind friend. Mm -hmm. A kind friend. And it also means that no matter how different you are, that he loves everybody. So do you think that it was a bad thing that he's blue when all of his friends are gray? No. What do you think? 
He's special in his own way. Yeah, he's special in his own way. And he still can do great things even though he's different, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome job. Now on to our final step. Step five, get feedback from your child. At the end of a book, ask your child what they enjoyed or disliked about the story and explain and have them explain why. Asking these types of questions improves oral fluency and encourages them to form opinions and gives them confidence to read more. Adeline, what did you and what did you not like about the book? Well, I didn't like that the other manatees, um, how the ma other manatees treated you, but I did like the lesson that it taught me to treat each other the same way no matter what. 